What's going on guys, this is Rob, and I wanted to test the waters here a little bit with the most recent release of the Doctor Strange trailer, and I wanna focus on the origin here of America Chavez. The only reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, I wanna kind of see if anybody's interested in this before I devote all the time and energy to making like a full-on character explanation because she is very extensive despite the fact that she's only been around for about 10 years or so. So here's the thing about America Chavez. She originally appeared back in 2011 in a story that was called Vengeance. But the reality is that her appearance here was one limited to the idea that she was part of a team called the Teen Brigade, which basically operated like kind of underground. They were sort of a black ops team to a degree. You didn't get much in the way of her origin. All you really knew is that she had basically been adopted by a family called the Satanas. And then through a combination of arguments and the fact that she basically needed to keep a low profile, she wanted to be a hero for reasons that we didn't necessarily fully understand, that she ultimately abandoned them and then took the surname of Chavez, right? And then just kind of went forward as America Chavez. The first real origin for her character actually came in Kieran Gillen's Young Avengers back in 2013 and 2014, and it came through a couple of different versions. The first one was in issue number three, and the second was in issue number 14. I guess it's really kind of the same origin, uh, but basically being told from two different perspectives. So the way it was told is that America Chavez initially came from a place that was called the Utopian Parallel. And the idea behind this, and Kieran Gillen never fully fleshed this out, the Utopian Parallel was basically a place that was was developed by the Demiurge. Now, the Demiurge in Marvel Comics exists in a couple different forms. There is the old Roy Thomas Demiurge, which was basically a way to explain the existence of like life on Earth, the Elder Gods, all that kind of stuff, that the Earth's biosphere actually is sentient and is called the Demiurge and basically is the reason why the Elder Gods existed in the first place. So like uh, Cthone and Sidorak and all those guys. And of course, as you may know from the different videos that we've done over the years, eventually the Elder Gods just sort of fell into basically becoming degenerate and started consuming, destroying each other, basically, you know, fighting against what was the early days of humanity, or at least conquering them. And then ultimately Gaia essentially procreated with the Demiurge, and then we got a tomb. And then a tomb basically consumed the Elder Gods who didn't escape, right? So that's how it is that like Cthone and all those guys took off to other realities. Those who didn't make it out in time were basically consumed by a tomb who in turn became the Demigorge, right? So there's the Demiurge and the Demigorge. In more recent years, uh, Billy Kaplan, the son of the Scarlet Witch, also known as Wiccan, has been revealed to basically become the Demiurge at some point in time. That's one of those names that's kind of given where basically he'll become like an omnipotent person. He'll be able to do virtually anything he wants to. And even during Young Avengers, he was getting to that point where he could like survey the multiverse and things along those lines. It was crazy how powerful he was becoming. Uh, Kieran Gillen never really explained which version of the Demiurge was responsible for creating the Utopian parallel. He simply just said the Demiurge was the one who did it. But regardless of which version it is, the the utopian parallel basically existed outside of everything in the multiverse, which in and of itself was strange because the only things outside of the multiverse are the beyondverse and basically the realm of oblivion, which has actually led to some fans believing that America Chavez is an aspect of the multiversal cosmic entity oblivion. Again, that's not really confirmed. There's nothing to indicate that's the case. It's more of just a fan theory going on with her character. The important thing here is that in this initial origin in Young Avengers, that America Chavez, basically her mom, uh, were essentially the rulers of a planet in the utopian parallel. But what had happened is that these kind of black holes had basically opened up that threatened to pull the utopian parallel into the, what they called the conventional multiverse, basically into the rest of the multiverse itself. Ultimately, this was stopped, but the mothers of America Chavez were destroyed in the process. And so realizing this was the case and with her only being six years old, she basically escaped the utopian parallel and then arrived on earth and then essentially went forward as America Chavez as well, was adopted by the Satanas and that whole series of events in Vengeance unfolded and then th she eventually became America Chavez. But that was the Kieran Gillen explanation of why it is that she can like fly, she can open portals to other realities because literally existing outside the multiverse means she could travel to anywhere in the multiverse. Uh, now, ultimately, this origin was changed really in more recent years in 2021 in a way that basically pissed off all the America Chavez fans. <laughs> and it's one of those things. A lot of America Chavez fans more recently recently do not like her origin as it exists now, but it is more comprehensive and it's more grounded. A lot of people are saying this is the origin that we're getting because of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, that the Marvel basically changed things up because of that. Honestly, the old origin with Kieran Gillen would make more sense given the nature of her character in the MCU. But the way this origin played out is that all we had were basically the mothers of America Chavez, Amelia and Elena Chavez. And they were basically just geniuses, right? Microbiologists, pathologists, and they were exceedingly intelligent. 
The problem with this is that uh, you basically had Catalina and then you had America who were actually sisters and were suffering from something called Edges Syndrome, which is basically a degenerative disease that would effectively kill them. Now, technically speaking, America was the only one who had it. Catalina seemed to have it, but wasn't suffering from it, right? Wasn't experiencing like the side effects. And so the idea was that Mr. Gales, this guy who was like some billionaire, essentially a mad scientist, uh, would be able to examine Catalina, figure out why Edges Syndrome isn't killing her, and then basically take that information and apply it to all these other girls who were infected with edges syndrome and then were seemingly dying as well now the idea of the utopian parallel was invoked here the difference is that unlike the old Kieran Gillen days where the utopian parallel was a place outside the multiverse instead in the the I guess the facility of Mr. Gales the utopian parallel was actually more of just a giant facility right like a giant uh dome type place where you literally had a door and time passed differently inside this place as it had been constructed by Mr. Gales. And what that did is it basically allowed the girls to essentially live longer so that they could be studied for longer periods of time in an effort to basically cure them of Edge's syndrome. The problem with this, and, and again, we're not given a whole lot here. We're only about four or five issues in to, uh, to the current America Chavez Made in America run, so there'll probably be more information coming about this later on. But for reasons that were never fully disclosed, it basically seemed like Mr. Gales had a kind of ulterior motive. And the reason why is because while the girls were there to be treated once the edges syndrome in america chavez started going to remission then she developed the ability to open portals to other places and so what this meant was that mr gales in the the presence of what looked like government agents again we weren't given a whole lot of information there was basically encouraging her to use her powers which pissed her moms off the other concern about this is they felt like the place was pretty seedy right that there was something going on there that they weren't being previewed to and there were some major ulterior motives happening and so what happened is amelia and elena had basically banded together in order to not just free Catalina and America from the clutches of, of Mr. Gales, but all the other girls as well. Now, ultimately, all this came to a head during the freeing process, right, when they were getting all these girls out, when Elena was able to get her hands on America and Catalina, and Amelia was able to free the other girls. The problem is that Amelia was basically caught on a security camera and then ultimately destroyed herself in order to destroy the access door to the Utopian Parallel and essentially the facility as a whole. Elena, her herself was shot and killed in front of not just America and Catalina, but the other girls who were around there as well. And of course, kind of, you know, as a mother usually dies, at least as it was in the comics, you know, basically said that she loved them and that they need to escape, that kind of a thing, right? Find a place for the girls to stay and to basically become great people, you know, that kind of a thing. The way the way that, the way way those kind of things usually happen when like a parent and or mentor dies in the comics. Uh, what this basically led to was America Chavez basically opening a star portal that allowed her to leave the island. And as she was grabbing Catalina and leaving, ultimately Catalina was yanked away by Mr. Gales, which led to her believing that Catalina and Mr. Gales and everybody else on the island had been destroyed, and she went forward from there. Now, the way this worked insofar as the origin, as it was given by Kieran Gillen, and the more modern origin, this was reconciled by Marvel in basically saying, because of her experience with, like, Mr. Gales and watching her mom die and all that kind of stuff, believing her sister was dead, that the whole origin of her coming from a place called the Utopian Parallel that existed outside of the multiverse was basically just made up in her mind as a child's method of coping with the tragedy of what had actually happened in the real world. Again, pissed off all the, the, the America Chavez fans, all five of them. They were mad as hell, right? They were just absolutely angry. Uh, but nonetheless, those are how her origins currently exist in Marvel Comics. So in more recent years, her powers have basically kind of dropped off. She doesn't really seem to have the ability to hop through the multiverse the same way she did before. That she's basically just your standard run of the mill teleporter. Whether or not it stays that way, only time will tell. I have to imagine, given what we're seeing in Doctor Strange 2, she'll go back to being the character that she he's historically been, which is being able to jump through the entirety of the multiverse. And literally, it's one of the, one of the things to know here, she can go anywhere in the multiverse, or at least historically has been able to. She can go to any reality. Sometimes she can get lost, but she kind of has this sort of internal compass that always gives her a true north, so she always knows how to get like, quote unquote, home. So that's one of the things that keeps her from being, being like irrevocably lost in the multiverse, the way that Hank Pym was almost lost in the multiverse during uh, you know, Jonathan Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers. But again, that's basically her order 
origin as it exists in Marvel Comics. There's the original one by Kieran Gillen, then the more, more recent one that was released now in uh, 2021, basically updated, kind of reworking the whole thing. But with that being said, guys, uh, let me know down in the comments, and I'm pretty sure I already know the answer to this, but let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a full on like Marvel Comics or maybe call it Doctor Strange 2, America Chavez Explained video, right? Give you guys like the whole publication history of her character. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all later. Peace.